Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delicio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at a rather massive box here in the form of Alter Quest, a cooperative game of fantasy adventure for one to four players from Adam and Brady Sadler and Blacklist Games using their modular deck system that has been seen in games like Street Masters and Brook City. It's uh, kind of the system of card-driven gameplay that they have been using for a number of their games. This one is based in a fantasy dungeon crawling environment, as you can see here, with a large number of minis, a large number of cards, 446 to be exact, and a uh, game board that kind of maybe evokes some memories of maybe old fantasy themed games you've maybe played before. It's a cooperative board game for one to four players where players take on the roles of daring heroes embarking on epic quests. Aha, okay, well, there's a whole lot in here. So this being an unboxing video, we are not trying to get a in-depth analysis of what's happening. We just wanna get an idea of what's inside the box, get a quick look at the components and the rule book. So again, please understand, I'm not going through 440 some odd cards. I'm just gonna show you some examples of the uh, cards and give you an idea of what the minis look like, etc. All right, so we've got our different overview of hero decks and threat decks and villain decks and in and our quest decks, which this modular deck system, as you might glean from the name, is gonna be putting these kind of decks together to create different experiences and scenarios. Our setup here, the board overview and the gameplay overview. It's played over a course of a number of rounds until the heroes win or lose. The chosen quest deck will describe how the heroes win the game. The heroes lose the game if any hero is defeated or if a game effect specifies an additional loss condition. It's divided into four turns each round is. You've got the hero turn, the threat turn, the villain turn, and the quest turn. And all of those are gonna be basically dealing around cards. The hero turn, you're gonna be playing cards. And then in the threat turn, you're gonna be activating the, the threat deck and or what's in your threat area. Villain turn and quest turn, obviously, gonna be activating cards in those particulars as well. And it goes into detail about all of the different types of actions that you can take. And the threat turn and the villain turn, additional rules with tests of might, fortitude, agility, willpower, charisma, and intellect. And then it goes into more detail on how that works. The test procedure, your hero dice, which uh, are typically gonna have, you have, you have critical dice as well kind of exploding dice, which is always fun, card keywords, altar dice and runes, damage and healing, and more specifics, running out of cards, conditional effects, traps, threat tokens, and then you also have campaign rules if you'd like to play it as a campaign rather than as kind of one-off scenarios, all right? And here's our story guide out of Luxon. And I won't go into too much of this because I really don't want to, this could be something be considered spoilerish, so I don't want to do that. I don't want to be spoilerish. Let's take a look at some of these cardboard tokens. All right, fine quality cardboard there. Here's some characters here, some damage. All right, now this board, I'm going to assume, is quite large. So I will likely not get it all on camera, but what I will try to do is kind of do it in such a way that you can at least get a sense for it. Let me zoom out as far as I can. We got most of it on there. I am zoomed out as far as I can. So let's start here and I'm just gonna kind of pull it along so you can get an idea, okay? clearly distinct areas within that you're gonna be populating with minis and tokens and kind of exploring this dungeon as you go through the game, all right? Let's take a look at some dice, shall we? Dice are nice, but this whole thing comes out. I 
believe these are the hero dice. Translucent, lovely etched custom hero dice. And then we'll look at the, I believe these are the altar dice here. Yes, which from my experience, I played the game before it was published and I remember really enjoying the altar dice quite a bit. So many cards. These look like uh, primarily dividers. <laughs> and I have thrown them everywhere. Yes, as I am wont to do. All right, campaign pool, lurkers. And these are the characters. So you can kind of get a sense for the characters here. And these are some quests. Some baddies, the frocks, raglanders, the thralls. Bulks the Belch Lord, Gert, our altars and allies, enemy upgrades, equipment, and features. So these are dividers, as you might expect. So, for example, we've got the hunt here. Let's just take a quick look. They're all denoted on the back. We've got some lurkers here. I'm going to obviously show you the other sides as well, but. So here's a Frox Raider, one of these lurkers that could come out. You can see it's going to have some stats here, and it's going to got it's going to have some text to activate. All right, so you can see some of these lurkers, and then these are going to be some of these quest cards. All right. Let's take a quick look at, let's see here. We're gonna look at, again, I don't wanna open all of these. Let's take a look at some equipment cards, shall we? Sure, let's do that. And then we can also look at a hero deck too. So here are some equipment cards. Got a long spear, long bow, great ax, holy staff, long sword. You can get an idea of the art, you can get an idea of the kind of the iconography, the layout, and the graphic design of the card. Relatively, um, relatively clear. I mean, my eyes are a little bit uh, advanced, and so the text is slightly small, though I can make that out for the most part. Underneath these cards, I'm just going to show you really quickly as well, we've got some bases for the miniatures, but that's not necessarily something we're going to spend much time looking at. Let's take a look at Quella's deck here. All right, character card. And then you can see the different art involved, the different types of actions she can take, her searing blast, her invigorate, the orb of seeking spell, Reclaimed Knowledge Feet, her Runic Insight, which is another feat, the Stone Skin, which is a reaction spell, the Wind Chill and the Quake. All right. Well, I think that gives you enough of an idea of what the cards are like. Obviously, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them, and we only saw some examples of each. Let's take a look at some of these minis, because I know a lot of people are going to have a great deal of interest in those. Let me zoom in just a little bit. I think this is Bulks the Belch Lord, if I remember right. Okay. One of our altars, I believe. Again, I'm going to go relatively quickly here because I think I want to just give you an idea of the level of detail. Here's one of the features here, the bookshelf. But there are so many minis that if I were to show you all of them, this would be a 20 minute unboxing video, which is really not what we tend to do. But I do want to show you at least a fair number of these. These, these kind of furniture features, I think, are something that a lot of people are going to be interested in. So I am showing those. Here's another baddie. Okay. See some of the little guys here. Right. There we 
go. That's all I'm going to go with those. I will show you one of the doors because those obviously are going to be of interest. There are going to be a lot of those potentially out on the map. Let's show you one of these winged nasties. So these appear to be really nice quality miniatures to my eye. As I've said on countless unboxing videos, I am not an expert in miniatures, but these do appear to be nicely detailed. I would imagine if you were a painter, you could make these look quite impressive. All right, now I'm gonna stop right there for this because I also have a box of stretch goals that I'm gonna briefly break out here because again, the amount of um, material that is involved here is quite extensive. And this is already a long unboxing video. Let's just take a quick look inside this box of stretch goals, which is gonna be primarily, I would imagine, minis. And what I will likely do here is maybe just show you the trays of minis, if that's the case. This is obviously for people who backed the Kickstarter. Okay, it's an expansion. Game board, colored dice, 135 miniatures, more, 417 more cards. My goodness. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to really go quickly and I'm going to just kind of show you some of the minis here because this is a tremendous amount of stuff in this box. Another huge map. Let me zoom out. Oops, that's the wrong way. Okay, so you can get a sense for this map here, which is another large map, just like in the original box. We've got cards, 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 and more cards. I'm going to kind of just show you off these minis, including, well, I got to look at this guy. He's kind of different. I imagine some type of fire creature. Okay. And then a whole lot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's three uh, trays of minis here. So many minis. I think you can get a sense for what we've got going on here. Oh, these cards are in the way of this last full tray of minis here. So just a remarkable amount of content. Uh, I, I don't think that you would be able to complain that you weren't getting a lot of content in these boxes. All right, well, it's a lot to look at, a lot to kind of take in, but I think that gives us a pretty good idea of what you will find inside the box of... Alter Quest. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.